Hey there friends, welcome back to the channel, my name is Andy and uh, I kind of felt like playing some Attila Total War with the Medieval Kingdom's uh, 1212 <laughs> AD mod. Uh, it's basically Medieval 3 if you don't know what this is. Um, it's a pretty, pretty massive uh, popular modification for Attila that makes the whole thing into a medieval uh, setting. It's actually really, really cool. Um, and... Um, People have been playing this for a long time now. Um, it's um, it takes place from 1212 AD until I believe like 14, 15 uh, uh, hundreds or something. Um, the most popular factions are, I guess, like Empire of Nicaea, Holy Roman Empire, Kingdom of England, and stuff. But I checked out the um, Ayyubid uh, Sultanate, and you know what? Their units are beautifully made. They just look so flippin' gorgeous. Um, uh, so I felt, why not? Uh, this is, looks pretty flippin' cool. So we are going to play as Egypt, or the Ayyubid Sultanate. Uh, and we're going to play on hard, because we're using uh, a sub-modification called... Um, uh, I believe it's Brian's Battle and Campaign AI or something like that. Uh, uh, where the recommended um, difficulty is hard. That's what the whole mod has been balanced around. Uh, so we will be playing on hard uh, this time. Our faction attributes are, uh, or is, the legacy of uh, Saladin. Um, Jerusalem is for us an object of worship that we could not give up if there were only one of us left. The land from here to beyond the Jordan must be consigned to us. Lands of pilgrimage, minus 25% public order penalty due to presence of, of other religions, integrated Mamluk institution and social class, plus 15% charge bonus and missile fire rate for professional units, and plus 0.5% noble pop growth, so there is a population mechanic in this uh, mod, super cool. Uh, East-West trade transit, plus 10% wealth from ports and 33% uh, income from trade tariffs. Ambitions, Ayubid Amirs, minus 2 public order. So that's it. Uh, let's uh, get straight into this. And here we are. <laughs> the uh, uh, you can probably hear right away that I am using a uh, a, a music mod. Um, it is a music mod accompanying this um, this game, uh, which brings various tracks from uh, around the Total War genre. That makes uh, just the whole the whole image um, a lot better. The immersion uh, is real. So here we are in uh, Egypt. Cairo is our capital. Uh, that's a no-brainer. Alexandria is, of course, also a massive city in this uh, sprawling empire. We can see we have a lot of trade going on uh, from Cairo all the way to um, uh, Mursa Matru. Of course, I am uh, butchering that name, but uh, we'll have to live with that. The land trade here is... A whopping 7,600. Um, from this port, we make 7,600 um, from, you know, trade, uh, both within our faction and without, uh, I believe. Uh, um, there's a lot of stuff we are trading, and um, Egypt is a very rich faction at this point. 40,000 gold, and we're making 12,000 uh, every turn. This is 1212 uh, AD, um, so it's about how much uh, longer after the conquest of Jerusalem? Probably 60-ish years-ish. Um, Salah, uh, Salah Hadin is, um, is dead. We are his uh, successors. Um, who is our faction leader? Abu Bakr is our faction leader. I wonder if he is at all related to um, Salah Hadin or if they had another succession system. Uh, but this is cool. As we can see, our faction stretches all the way from uh, Libya to Armenia. Uh, this is a uh, this is one massive empire we are uh, dealing with here. Um, public order wise, it's it's fairly it's fairly good. Um, but we have, we, we do have a lot of cities with a negative public order, um, projection right now. Um, our 
most important rivals, I believe. Um, definitely Jerusalem, although we could, you know, we could go the um, the way of um, co coexistence and sort of wait until we are being attacked. There are some settlements here in the in the desert uh, we could just go for and try to repopulate. We have vassals as well. Um, let's see, up here, diplomatic status. Mecca is our vassal, and that is the uh, only one. To our south is the Christian kingdom of uh, Makuria, and the Sagwe kingdom. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's basically about it. The Crusader states remain in the uh, Principality of Antioch, and uh, the Kingdom of Jerusalem and Cyprus. Uh, here, they have this, the cities of Acre and Famagusta. Of course, they uh, would probably want Jerusalem. And um, if I'm not mistaken, this game has Crusade mechanics. Or this mod, I mean. So um, we will have to probably deal with that later. We'll we'll see if the AI manages to form uh, crusades and how that turns out. But let's get straight down to the building. Um, we have quite a lot of money, but how much do buildings cost? That's the question. Six thousand. Yeah. So this money will go pretty fast, I think. Um, what I love about Attila is the um, is the fertility level. Uh, meaning that every sort of region has its own fertility. I'm wondering if that probably won't change. Now, in Attila, you have events where fertility changes in like a climate change um, scenario, but that probably won't happen here. So, Egypt is an Im an amazingly fertile place, um, which we will have to um, take advantage of. The same goes for Mesopotamia, which we could probably consider uh getting into let's call it at some point uh during this campaign but that's for for later if anything we should perhaps ally the um abbasid caliphate um we do have a non-aggression non pact and we also have tr trade with them um our relations are are they worsening or i think they're staying uh, put actually um let's see we have trade with the Almoran Caliphate, the Hafsid uh, Sultanate, uh, but not these. Kingdom, Kingdom of Cilicia. We could uh, trade with the Christians, I believe. That's a lot of money we can make. Uh, that's insane. And this is high, so we could even not have them as our puppet, but maybe get some money for this. Not 10,000, but maybe 5,000? That's high, even. Non-aggression pact. Oh, what else could we do? We could have them make an alliance with us. That could be smart. Because the AI we are we are using is pretty... Is said to be pretty aggressive. So, you know what? We could make a strategic alliance with, the, with uh, some Catholic uh, Christians here. Um, if we ever were attacked. So, let's do that. Let's accept that. Um, either way, we are making some money from this. Principality of Achaia. The Salgrud Atabegate. That was hard to pronounce. You know what? Let's uh, let's get some trade uh, going with those. 800. Oh, this is sick. I, I could have... Um, I could have probably got some more money from that. I greet you in my master's feared name. Speak in honesty and you will be... Here we go. We are a powerful, powerful nation. Being able to force, uh, semi-force our will on uh, others like that. Let's see Jerusalem. Looks like a pretty small town. We should uh, maybe upgrade it. Um, with uh, let's let's have it make uh, become like a money place. And I think sheep is pretty good for money. Actually, camels are good for money. Um, but sheep seems. Sheep seems like it would make more sense in Jerusalem. So yeah, let's have sheep there. Um, oh yeah, I, I, I forgot that this wasn't um, a certain other game, so we can we can actually build more settlements at the same time. That's that's neat. Uh, Damascus, Damascus should Damascus be our capital? No, maybe not. 
Damascus, let's make a provincial capital in Damascus. 16,200, population hard cap. Uh, we'll uh, basically just have a lot more people there. And a better garrison. Uh, in Cairo. It's already a stronghold. Oh, that looks like a massive uh, place. Uh, wheat fields, wheat farm, Mamla quarters. Hmm. You know what? I think we should um, build a wheat farm there. Because I do want to remain... Like, if we were attacked and a lot of these trade... Um, trade nodes were... Uh, are people able to actually... Um, I think in Rome 2... Actually, I don't know. Um, there are some Total, total War games where, where you can attack these nodes if you are at, at war with people. Um, but of course, if you are at war, then trade might also stop. So that's something to be aware of. There's an Eastern Orthodox Basilica in Alexandria. Um... This building is not available to your faction. It may not give you all its benefits. Yeah, it definitely. It's giving us more Eastern Christianity. We should uh, get rid of that, I think. Or convert it to a... Uh, to a mosque or a kanka. Um, what is a kanka? A dazzling structure created in joyful celebration of God. Uh, a mosque is, of course, the same. <laughs> it says... Um, public order plus nine. Public order... Minus 30% penalty due to presence of other religions. That could be smart since we do only have a 50% um, uh, Sunni Islam in Alexandria. Um, and it would give us some wealth. That could be uh, nice in Alexandria. We want uh, Alexandria to be rich. Let's uh, let's make a con. Uh, you know what? Why, are, why is mosque 10,000 more gold expensive? That was not a proper sentence, but you know what I mean. Um, public order plus nine, that is a lot. Religious influence plus 11 from Sunni Islam. Fine, let's let, let, let's just make a mosque there. Let's go for technology. Uh, regularized ICTA system. Could probably make us, um, like, let us be able to make uh, better soldiers from there. Um, these are cool. Maybe we'll do the crankshaft and chain pump. Uh, that way we can um, keep our money going if we were attacked, as in make better buildings. I, th I think we'll just, just try that. Since I am new to this mod and don't really know what's um, what's best, I think we'll do that. I love the look of these uh, unit cards, by the way. They are very impressive looking. Uh, camel herd, camel train, more public uh, public order penalties, but more money. <sighs> yes, we shall make money. Um, and we, at this point, then cannot make uh, or build any more buildings. But that is fine. We have a, a defensive alliance with um, the kingdom of uh, Cilicia. What about the Sultanate of Rum? Should we make uh, some sort of pact here? We can create a, a defensive alliance there as well. What about the Abbasids? I think what we kind of want to do... Um, they too want a defensive alliance. Puppet State? No. <laughs> uh, what about you, Puppet State? No. We want to... I think some of the goals in this campaign should be to completely control... Um, Africa, the Middle East, and uh, Persia, um, as well as Anatolia. That could be cool. But maybe the first objective should be to hold what, what we do have and also take Mesopotamia. Uh, for that, allying the Abbasids is not the right choice. So I think we'll, uh, we'll do this for now. Of course, we have to uh, appoint governors. Um, and yeah, our faction leader is a, is a, a, a general, so we cannot appoint him. We'll appoint others. Um, the most important places right now is, I think, Alexander. We can appoint 16. I guess, actually, in this campaign, in this mod, you can appoint 
as many governors as you have cities. I think. Which is excellent. That's kind of how it, how it should be. Um, where's Damascus? Here we go. Thank you. Why are some of these grayed out? I guess they're being... Oh. That's a, maybe some kind of bug. Or maybe they just can't be uh, selected, I guess. Statesman, um, let's put you in maybe Aleppo? Jerusalem, maybe. That could be nice. Um, and we don't have more candidates. Uh, we do have, I guess we do have candidates, but uh, we have to pay for them. We, uh, so we'll wait with that, I think. Ah, we can enact some edicts. Uh, Jerusalem, the public order is going straight down. Um, the percentage of, of um, Muslims in Jerusalem is at 55. There's quite a lot of Judaism, 20%. Eastern Christianity 10, Catholic Christianity 10, and Orthodox Christianity 5. So there's like about 25% uh, Christians, 20% uh, Ju Jews, and 55% uh, uh, Muslims. Um, for that, it could be best to do religious tolerance. Um, and that would uh, also perhaps be in the spirit of um, Dear Salah Hadid. Uh, public order plus uh, minus 50% religious unrest and religious influence minus three state religion. So um, Islam would grow less, but um, the public order, order penalty from religious difference would be halved. Um, right now it's minus nine, so it would be either minus five or four, I guess. It would be the same with empower local ruler, but that would give us less, 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 less um, <laughs> sorry, less tax rate. So we will do religious, religious tolerance in uh, Jerusalem. In Damascus, I think we shall do hmm. What kind of units can we train here? Quite a lot. Oof, these look uh Cool. Um, maybe levy taxes. And in Cairo. All of these have some sort of penalty. Except for settled tribes, I, I think. Um, wealth, 25% from commerce. That sounds like a lot. How much do we, do we make from commerce? Is that possible to find out easily? Province wealth. Um, the buildings would say, perhaps. Let's see. From agriculture, bazaar. Um, 1,400 from commerce, yes. Uh, agriculture. So, so there's a lot, a lot of agriculture stuff. I think we'll do uh, the uh, Settled Tribes. It will uh, give us more money. Alexandria. From Commerce. There must be lots of Commerce income here. Industry and Commerce. Yes, good. Port. Commerce. Okay, yes. Settled Tribes. Easy choice there. And I guess it, w it also makes, makes the cities grow quicker. Which is not bad. Oh, we have gold. Uh, here we go. Let's see. Gold, but we do not extract. Yes, we do gold veins. Nice. Um, so there's not enough to have a um, resource in your city. You also need to build uh, the building that sort of extracts that resource, which is cool. I like that with Attila. Okay, I think that's the first turn. Let's uh, let's end this turn. Uh, or yeah, let's end this turn. You may still assign a provincial governor, but I need to pay for it, right? I see politician, uh, strategist, strategist. We, sh we should have him as a general if we can. So yeah, fine. We'll we'll pay for another one. Um, let's put in him Holmes. Fine, and then edict in Holmes. How about some empower local ruler? We're not making that much money in Holmes either way, so that's fine. Now it's the first turn. I'm wondering what's going to happen on the second turn. Um, I wonder 
I wonder kind of what Jerusalem is going to try to do. Same, same with Antioch. I propose, or rather Let's see. For a treaty to combine our Not forces an aggression pact with, with these. Strength. Um, I don't think we have, we do have trade with them. Uh, so why not? Um, if armies from Europe come, I don't want to be a sandwich between these, uh, between these. Let's see, war declared, Kingdom of Sicily, Commune of Bologna. Uh, war between Empire of Epirus and Kingdom of Thessalonica. That's in Greece. Not an aggression pact, yes we know, edicts. Great. Okay. We got some more money. We are making a ton of money. Jerusalem has a fleet. That's neat. Um, Jewish quarter. That's an expensive building. Wow. Um, Damascus. Let's see. Slave trader. Research pr production goes up. And wealth from commerce. Hmm. Maybe commerce is the right edict to have here, actually. It would also give us more public order. Um, yes. And then we build a slave market. Good. In Cairo, ugh, I wish there was... We need agents, I think. Because I believe... Um, priests... Can... Uh, yeah, public order plus two. They can increase public order. So in settlements where we need uh, priests to uh, increase public, public order, we, we really need them, so to speak. <laughs> Let's see, there's a mosque in Jerusalem. That means that on the next turn, we can uh, make that uh, make that other priest. Um, yeah, sure, not, not, not much is going on. But I can assign a provincial governor. Entrepreneur, wealth plus 10. That's really good. Aleppo. Let's put you in Aleppo. Aquaba. Mm, Aleppo. Let's see, what kind of income do we have here? Agriculture. Culture. Okay. Uh, then we'll do taxes, I think. Levy taxes. Could also do morale training. That could be nice, since this is kind of our border region up here. Um, if we needed some units, they would be better trained. I propose, or rather ask for, a treaty to combine our mm. forces with your considerable strength. So these, the Hafsid Sultanate is a vassal of the Almohad Caliphate, uh, which is basically the Moors. Um, they want a defensive alliance. I, I don't think I'll accept to that. Because they'll probably be at war with some Christians uh, sooner or later. And I don't want to be dragged into anything. As long as our strength remains, so Jerusalem wants a defensive alliance. You, as and um, you know what? I would rather puppet you. Uh, maybe I can pay for it. No. But no. You hold lands that are rightfully mine. I will not give you anything. <laughs> Let's see here. Population surplus. Oh, that's a beautiful uh, image. Uh, Mirsa Matru. Over here in Egypt. Cool. That means we can build another. Uh, develop more land. War, uh, war between Georgia... And okay. Sheep herd in Jerusalem. Nice. Good stuff. Let's see. Oh, what's uh, what's up in uh, Alexandria now? Eastern Christianity, 48%. So we desperately need uh, more Sunni Islam here. Or the whole... Uh, honor to serve you. Let's see here. Inspire populace, please. I thrive on ledgers and accounts. That's good. He... Uh, he brings five public order to, to, to this place. And the mosque is built in three turns. So that should help quite a lot. That should help a lot. Ready for battle. Um, yeah, I think we'll keep the armies inside of the cities right now. Um, we can 
make the Jewish community. You know what? Jerusalem needs public order. Um, let's make another priest. Progressive. Minus 20% penalty due to presence of other religions. That's perfect for us. So that's, that's for next turn. We can do something there. And the army in Aleppo. Um, let's make some more... It would be nice to have some better army buildings here, but we need um, population surplus for that. What's kind of what's also different in this mod is that, as you can see, every there is no there is no province with uh, different regions in it. Everything is, is is its own region, so everything can have an edict. Um, that is interesting. It is uh, pretty pretty cool, actually. It, it um, makes it more like medieval i i guess even though there were no edicts in uh, medieval um what should we build and where wheat farm um this is a fertile place yes it's rich okay wheat farm dear bucket bedouin camp gives us more food and the tribesman growth uh four thousand yeah it's not too much in found Eastern Mosque, uh, no, Earthen Mosque, um, Small Mosque, Darga. Yeah, maybe, maybe a Darga. There's a lot of Christians up in um, Armenia here. I think um, building a building where other religions do not affect public order as much is important in certain regions where your religion is not the strongest. And we will just build this the next turn. Maybe I'll move this army up to you, my lord. to Alexandria, actually. No, minus 13. Wow. Uh, why? Religious differences. Are there? Are we only 51% Muslim in Cairo? Eastern Christianity. There's a lot of that here. I, I guess that makes sense. It's... Oh, yeah. It is um, 600 years. Five, 600 years since the Muslim conquered it. I guess it... Yeah, it, it, it does make sense that there is some... Contestion or whatever you call it, but Ready for order. I'll keep the army in. There is no, um, there's no rush in having them out. What about here? You, my lord. Uh, minus thirty. Nope. Go back. We do have quite low sanitation. Um, that's something we should think more about. Current sanitation four. Current squalor five. Total sanitation minus one. So. That makes it more likely that we will have diseases. Um, it would be cool if we had like a bath building or something. We'll have to check that out. This character has an understand skill, Bashar. This is uh, the priest, the imam. Yes, nice. Uh, let's see. If there's any, yeah, spread religion action plus twelve religious influence. That's nice. Eight skills. This is okay. Yeah, we can do everything right now. Um, okay, cool. Let's see here. Is this balanced? <laughs> Plus three public order, nice. Uh, yes, yeah, spread religion. Encourage descent could be nice in the future. Um, minus 5% of current value. That is good. We don't want corruption. Cool. You may still assign a provincial governor since we now have money. Uh, strategist or politician. Politician is always... Yeah, I think it's best in these uh, situations here. Mercer Matru. That's a growing city. And uh, Ayub can also go somewhere. Uh, let's put you in uh, Vaughn. That's the border place. Here. Let's do something for the public order. Plus four. And um, in Mercer. Let's also do public order, actually. Even though tax rate goes, goes down. But I figure that tax isn't that much there. So we can survive that. Um. I love the... Um, the Medieval 2 soundtrack. Opposing our many enemies and rivals. Ah, Jerusalem again? They really like us. 
I guess it's since we have trade and stuff like this, treaties with principality, like we have treaties with their allies, probably trade rights and such. Um, admire strong empires too, religiously tolerant. That's nice. Who is this guy? Hughes. Hughes. Um, Non-aggression pact. No, I want to drive you into the sea. I no, I am the aggressive AI in this game. <laughs> Or the aggressive eye. Fifth Crusade. Here we go. Fourth Council of the Lateran. Pope Innocent III proclaimed a new crusade to free the Holy Land from the Saracens at the Fourth Council of the Lateran held this year. Various Catholic rulers will soon be asked to join the crusade, though its intended target is not, is not precisely known. Interesting. So, um, if the crusade is targeted at us... We will uh, have to prepare sometime soon. Let's see. We, we do have a lot of public order issues. Um, and it's kind of hard to deal with them. Uh, because buildings take a long time to erect here. So this Bayramsha, Akba. Akba, why not? Um, and we do need more population to form. Uh, I love this track so much. <laughs> Good Crusades campaign vibes. Here we go. Undeveloped land. I also love this uh, animation. Um, let's see. We need public order, definitely. 81% Muslim, that's good. Um, but what else? Muster grounds, town barracks, that's good for public order, definitely, plus seven. Plaza, public order plus four. Jewish diaspora, uh, that's worse for public order. Carnot network, this is good for sanitation, plus four. Uh, and irrigation, so it makes, oh, that's a really cool mechanic. It actually makes the, um, the, the fertility level better. Or higher. Now it's poor. So let's be let's be a little uh, let's be a an, an Egyptian Balian of Ibelin and uh, bring some water into this uh, desert. Um, let's see what else is out there though. Fields, Bedouin tents. Oh, you know what? A, a cannot network. Basically irrigation or something. I guess sounds really good. Sanitation plus four in adjacent in adjacent provinces, all regions in a, in adjacent provinces. That's very nice. Does that mean Ale Alexandria also gets it? Uh, although that is uh, rich already for best vitality five, so I guess it won't go any higher. Um, we have more undeveloped land. There we spent it. Nice. Um, I guess we want Mursa to be like a trade. Uh, port as well since it is a port and uh, most of our trade leaves from there from alexandria um nothing from us leaves we do import though or i guess the money didn't come up uh no this this is just an import alexandria we import from uh, mersa matru we export if i uh, understand this correctly Ten thousand we export for damn that's a lot um and what do we then want? We kind of want um, plaza. Could be nice. Artisan resource production, uh, population growth from industry. That's good. Fields always good. Better when tents. Wealth two hundred from c commerce. Um, oh, it's hard. It's beautiful though. It's beautiful to look at. Like I'm so often just mesmerized by the. Attila graph picks because like they, they they just still hold up uh, and they're so wonderfully uh, designed by the way it, if you're looking at the game and wondering but Andy why does your game look so stinking good it's because I'm using a uh, a uh, reshade modification called the uh, gem effects so graphic uh, graphics enhancement mod it's on the total war center website and you can go there and uh, download it and you can tweak it to your, your own liking. Um, 
This is hard. I think we'll go with... Uh, I think we'll go with Bedouin Tents, actually, because it's a bit more immersive. And it gives us Camel Riders, which could, could make sense that, like, Camels would pass here. Bedouin Tents it is, I think. Wealth plus 700 at the end. And from from uh, from both animal husbandry and commerce, that looks good. What, what's the plaza? Oh, there's a lot we can make here actually. Plaza, Shovgun Games, small bazaar. Okay, okay, bazaar looks tasty. Maktab, uh, Funduk, noble estate, slave trader, and gibbets. You know what? We'll we'll uh, we will make a plaza first. And then we'll see how that goes. We will upgrade the port as well. We will spend a lot of money on Mursa, I think. Uh, fishing docks, shipyard, trading docks. I think trading docks is what we want. Uh, yes, road development plus 17 and trade income. Yes, yes, yes. Give us this. Um, damn, that feels good. I'm so happy that all of our armies also have uh, such a high um, uh, integrity and that they're... In Increasing as well. Yeah, how's the how's the dynasty thing going? Where's that? Is that is that a thing? Summary records. Um, here we are. Offices. We need to appoint some some people to offices, of course. Uh, can we only do that with generals? Influence cost eighteen. So we don't have any influence. How much influence do we have? 54. This guy. Okay, so the they need, need to have influence. Right. Okay, well, Ali can uh, for sure become a Mutasib or something. Sanitation plus two. He's a governor? Yes, he is. In Damascus. That's very neat. Um, making him a Mustabi. A Mutasib. <laughs> but brings two sanitations to the governed provenance and public order. And the commerce income increase. Perfect. That's great. Um, and service. we can put this guy down now. Minus eight. Inspire populace. And now it's minus two. Uh, how's the religion going? Sunni Islam will increase by quite a lot. Perfect. Let's end this turn. Oh, we can uh, do an edict in uh, Kaaba. Uh, public order here too. Yes, we do need that public order to uh, be high. Is this even the sound from uh, from uh, Medieval 2 after you end your turn? That's <laughs> really cool. We are Jerusalem just won't quit, will they? Would be proud to... No. You know what? I might have, I might uh, just go to war with them. Uh, but, but we will see if they join the crusade or whatever happens with that Edict issued household gained uh fine office secured great so how's that sanitation four five okay didn't seem like that helped that much aren't you the governor here bro Yes, you are Ali. You got our details. Um, Ali, 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 where are you? Here, and I made you the mutasib. Maybe it happens next turn. Public order plus two, sanitation plus two. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Uh, Holmes, you could use a um, a new castle. Sixteen thousand that costs. Um, it gives the settlement better walls and such. In Vaughn, we do need that Darga to come up for the public order. I think we'll wait with that. Ready for orders. Let's have some, maybe have some archers. Yes, they're good fighters. 
How can I serve you? Increase this level. Um, yes, religious influence and public order. We also need the Sunni Islam to be increased here. The mosque is built in one turn. Perfect. And we'll have our um, plaza up soon. That'll be good for public order. Perfect. This is a cozy, cozy empire. Cozy uh, caliphate, sultanate. Cairo, only plus one. Maybe we need the priest down there soon, actually. Is there a mosque in uh, Cairo? Mukta's estate. Wheat farm. I'm look, Noria. Bazaar. There's no mosque. There's no mosque in Cairo. That's why we can't build a priest there. Or recruit a priest. Can we recruit more here? Uh, no. Maximum number of priests. Uh, only two. Unless... Yes. Okay, next turn. Apparently not. <laughs> um... This is, uh, he's a governor, right? Yes, governor. Um, what's nice then is tax rate and construction costs. Of course, here comes public order stuff. Um, but yeah, thinker and then tax rate. Musa is a governor as well. And uh, we'll do the same. Can sign another, another promise to governor. Jamli, merchant, plus 10% from commercial buildings. Always good. Um, that's, that's what we love. Ayab, yeah, I guess since um, we have the gold thing there. But that might be industry. That is industry, sadly. Uh, but, but we can live with that. We can maybe make a commercial building right now. Better intents, fields. How's this province doing with... Yeah, it's rich. Uh, with fertility. Artisan. That gives us more gold. You know what? Yes, let's do that. We want more gold from our gold. <laughs> if you can believe it. Uh, this province is actually going to rebel fairly soon. It could be smart to um, move this army down. I'll do it next turn. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think we will end this first episode of our Egypt run there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It's been, it's been peaceful for now, uh, but I'm sure things will uh, pick up fairly soon. So thank you so much, and I hope I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.